What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. What's up, beautiful people, to another episode of Don't Keep Up With The Joneses Palette and Garden Edition. Yes, it's your boy Ricky Jones Jr. And this one is all about the new and improved garden that I am looking to have. And I'm walking the way I'm walking because it starts here, ladies and gentlemen, because on this walk path, I look to use these pieces of wood to guide our steps all the way to the garden oasis that will be featured back here ba -ba -ba -ba. all right so now the way you saw it is the way that you will last see it this way because a lot of changes are taking place i have been inspired i have been imagining i have been thinking about ways to improve what i see when i step into the backyard and ladies and gentlemen i believe that i have just the solution now i am open to suggestions comments or corrections okay so please let me know in the comment section below based off of what you hear me say that I look to do based off of what you think I should do, okay? In this space, I look to have a walkway that goes straight into the center of my raised beds. Now, along the left and the right of the walkway, I look to do herb garden. I look to do fruit trees, which are already there. I may add one or two other fruit trees as well. Some herbs I would like to put over there. Now, which ones, I do not know. But I do want it to be a paradise that is not only for the vegetables and things like that but for bees for pollinators for butterflies and things like that to be able to come love what they see and enjoy and pollinate and do what i need them to do to make everything else grow okay so now this area will be radically transformed i'm thinking about putting lavender over here but i do want to see it from my home so i may instead put the lavender over here now what i am thinking for this area is to level out what is under the oak tree so that it is flush with the yard so that it will make a smooth transition walking wise from there to here however the dilemma comes like on this angle right there is a mean vicious angle so i may just have to respect the area as is and plant lavender around the front of it so to be nice luscious and beautiful as well as for the picking now as you all know i am doing some sheet mulching now waiting for the leaves to fall from this gigantic oak tree okay <laughs> so that is the plan that's why the cardboard is here so when the leaves stop falling i will put mulch down i am still trying to consider which color to put down so if you have suggestions please let me know in the comment section below as you can see i'm playing with some things over here with my container garden and now as i back up i want to put some things over here as well now what will it be i don't know but i'm always considering herbs i'm always considering daisies i do want some things that are beautiful lushes but also beneficial to the body and the garden as well so again let me know in the comment section below what i want to do here is to have a trellis a hoop in trellis that will have my beans such as black beans black eyed peas llama beans pole beans i want to have in this area okay so i'm trying to consider if i wanted to grow from buckets into the hoop or from the ground as well as you know to the hoop situation okay so that is what i'm considering and things like that and also i do want to point out i do want to grow as well as the kale the collard greens and the other things i want to grow brussels sprouts i want to grow eggplant i also want to grow beets and i want to grow carrots so these are some things that i'm going to put in my buckets as you can see i have a lot of greens already going from collard greens to kale which this substance is ridiculous i probably will pick this because i don't want this to be a problem going forward uh so yeah okay gone just like that that's what i do here mustard greens kale collard greens kale collard greens collard greens you guessed it okay and as you can already see i have the uh collard greens and all that good stuff and kale going beans going compost already going i have a big open space right here now in this space i'm thinking about putting some more five gallon buckets uh, probably my Brussels sprouts will go here because I do know they like a shaded area So they will get that shade here because the sun rises from the east and travels all the way to the west Okay, so I'm gonna put some uh, buckets here 
um, so we can grow there. Then I have my seed starting trays here, as you all know. And then I have my deck here where I can sit and watch everything grow. Now the benefit of having the lavender there is that it's right in my view. I only not only get the view from the home, but I also get the view from the deck. Okay, so. You know, this is the view from the deck in which, again, my friends, you will not see it looking like this. Now, that area where the pallets are, it will probably remain as is because I do need a place to store all of my wood. So that is where that will go, okay? And uh, yeah, but I do need to know. Let me know what do you think, which herbs do you think I should grow? I already know I wanna grow lavender. I already know I wanna grow rosemary. I'm thinking about basil and I heard sage was cool. We really don't use sage in the household, so I'm really not so happy about trying that out. However, lavender, always beautiful in so many ways. Rosemary is good for the memory, good for the brain, all that good stuff, so I will grow that. But let me know some other things, okay? I've been watching a lot of videos doing a lot of Google searches seeing what is already out there seeing what people are doing even seeing what different food I can grow maybe I'll grow and have some raised beds on the side like especially over here that has to go okay it will be trash don't worry about that now this area is a little different because it has a slope okay it's sloped from the home so I'm trying to even consider and figure out what I could do over there maybe I will take out all the weeds get all those things out of the way and then actually like build or not build <laughs> grow right out of the ground itself maybe that is a thing and then just label those different things that are growing in the area um i don't know maybe marigolds i honestly don't know but i'm really open to see and to know what do you think i should do and to grow in this area okay like i'm very open i am i know i'm here for the long haul okay this is a 2020 project i don't expect or suspect this to take place overnight or over a course of a few months but i do know you know it, it, it is going to take some time because it took time to get this the way it is therefore I know it will take time to get it to where I want it to be but nonetheless I am taking inventory of the ground itself because as the ground has different things growing on it it lets me know the different ways in which the Sun hits the ground and different capabilities in which the ground actually has to grow because of the light so in areas to me I'm assuming that the areas that are patchy they don't get the most Sun most things probably won't grow unless it's a shaded crop or shaded vegetable or shaded herb okay but in the area where there's the weeds and the patches of things <laughs> ding, ding, ding. good places to plant things to grow so yeah it's going to be a cleanup project excavation project some planting projects i'll probably do some seeds i'll probably do some transplants i'll do all different things to make it all nice luscious and beautiful okay and um yeah like even these flowers they came back I planted them a dollar store seed, okay? They sell them at the dollar store. Like, buy a box, throw them out, and watch them grow. <sighs> that might be what I do. That might be what I do, okay? But anyway, I'm just, I'm just thinking things through because there's so many possibilities and opportunities to make it all nice, luscious, and beautiful. I'm just bringing you all along the thought pattern, okay? So, 2021, goals, okay? Backyard, garden, goals. I don't want just the average backyard. I want a super extravagant backyard okay filled with a lot of color a lot of things that i can eat a lot of things that have pollinators that they can move around and get around and do different things and then i just want things to be nice and prosperous okay so hey let me know give me some suggestions even if it's links to other youtubers that have nice backyard gardens let me know who they are put them in the comment section i would love to watch the different videos of their garden learn from the different things that they are doing and watch me do those things here in the dkuj don't keep up with the jones family okay so while i'm saying that go ahead and subscribe if you are new to the channel welcome to the channel my name is ricky jones jr i have fun on this channel doing palette videos as well as gardening videos and there's sprinkle of my family having little fun videos as well so subscribe you'll enjoy yourself i promise you okay and we do giveaways as well but with all that said this is my plan for 2021 i told you what i'm gonna grow i told you what i'm gonna do back here i'm telling you right now it will not be the same as is right now so you might be saying ill what is that area that won't last long okay i will be cleaning up i will be planting i will be growing there will be color and there will be fun okay and there will be a lot of edibles back here for the picking for the taking not only for my family but for others as well okay all right beautiful people well i love you that is the tour that is the idea and that is what will happen in this area in 2021 okay until next time peace love you have a great day because why you're great and you deserve greatness peace <laughs> Oh. <laughs>